structures will derive an expression for discharge that is q over a rectangular notch okay so there is no square notch here first what i had done is i have taken one rectangular notch diagram so this is rectangular notch rectangular notch has some length there will be some length l and some height and uh, this is a uh, bottom edge of the notch and this is top edge of the notch so bottom edge of the notch is called as crest and top edge of the notch is called as nappe so between these two edge the water is flowing or liquids it may be any oil any any liquids okay milk blood whatever or kerosene etc petrol diesel whatever may be the type of liquids so h is a height of liquid over the crest what is h h is height of head of water over the crest from here to here it is h now to derive the discharge equation for this rectangular notch uh, we will consider one small elementary portion so that i have written here consider a rectangular notch provided in channel carry water as shown in figure so this is a simple sketch to find discharge over the notch discharge is q over the notch consider an elementary horizontal strip of water so here i have considered this is a horizontal strip of water so why i have taken this is just dear students you look at in the perpendicular direction perpendicular to the plane this is actually notch okay so this the length of the notch is l this is a length of the strip l okay so this strip is considered below the free surface of water here is a free surface of water below how much is h so h small h small h is the height or the distance between the strip and surface of water or you can use a word consider a small strip at a distance of h from the free surface of water that is also correct what is l l is a length of length of horizontal strip horizontal strip okay so next point dh dh is thickness of this strip here is i have represented dh is equal to thickness of that strip and l is length of the strip depth is h okay these are the some notations which are required for solving this derivation once again you remember all the notations first notation is h h is head of water or height of water above the notch and dear students it is not height of the notch keep in mind i will write here clearly head of water head of water or height of water above the notch not height of notch height of what uh, notch should be from here to here for example i will take h1 this is height of the notch understood it is not height of water here that you, you need to be careful here is also they have given h whether it is height of notch or height of water so you can use head of water so instead of using height of water you use head of water it will become easy to understand because in the numericals he may give height of the notch is h1 h2 etc so in that case we get confused and uh, q is discharge that we need to find out and dh small dh is thickness of the strip l is length of the strip and uh, the small h is the distance between the strip and free surface of water okay next what i do to calculate discharge through a small strip i will to consider a small strip i have considered a small strip first what we do we will calculate the discharge q through this small strip that is dq i will calculate dq is a discharge through small channel small strip so what is the formula for the discharge usually area into velocity 
so if you multiply the coefficient of discharge and it will become actual discharge actual discharge is equal to cd area into velocity if you applied for this small strain then small change in the discharge actual discharge is equal to cd what is area area of this strip because i am considering only this strip this area area of the strip that is as v is velocity in that strip this is a formula same formula i will write here cd area of a strip velocity in the strip now we need to find area of the strip dear students what will be the area of the strip here length is l height is dh so area is l into dh that i will write the next step area is equal to length into height of the strip height of the strip is dh yeah, as you can see here in this diagram this is l and height is dh then velocity of the strip we need to find out and here we cannot apply the bernoulli's equation because bernoulli's equation will be applied between two points between two sections here we are calculating velocity at particular point okay and particular portion okay we need velocity in this portion only through this channel so in that case we need to remember the one equation so it is v square by 2g is equal to h what is v square v square by 2g is kinetic energy head this is equal to some h value so v square is equal to 2g h i need velocity v so v is equal to square root of 2g h so using this equation i can write v is equal to square root of 2g h that is velocity of strip now dq is a small discharge i will write as it is dq is equal to cd l dh square root of 2g into h now i need total discharge from the notch not only for this small strip i need total discharge of fluid entire notch instead of considering this small strip instead of taking this small strip i need total discharge from here to here that is total h height h height means 0 to h understood now apply the limits the discharge between 0 to h so what you need to do i need integration integrating on both side between the limits 0 to h why 0 to h because 0 is a initial position it is bottom position of the notch and the maximum position of the notch is h so between these two the water is flowing so i need total discharge of this water that is q so integrate on both the side between the limits 0 to h on both the side 0 to h cd as it i will write the parameters as it is into yes here i will get there next uh, integration once you do the integration cd is a constant take out side so here if you do the integration differentiation and integration get cancel so remains q q is a total discharge cd is constant for the notch take out side l is also constant take out side dh is not constant because h is function of dh h is height of the strip below the free surface so it is not constant square root of 2g is constant that i will take outside the remaining terms i will write within the integration that is square root of h into dh now you differentiate this h equation not differential it is integration yes so h to the power of 1 by 2 h to the power of 1 by 2 into dh so what is the integration of h to the power of 1 by 2 into h means h to the power of 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 between the limits 0 to h so search to the upper limits and lower limits i will write here q is equal to cd l square root of 2g so 1 by 2 plus 1 will be 3 by 2 
that 3 by 2, if you write here, I will write 3 by 2. So 3 by 2, I will take in the numerator, it will become 2 by 3. Okay. And then similarly, h to the power of 3 by 2 between the limits 0 to h. Substitute the first upper limit, that is h. Lower limit, if you substitute is 0, because the entire equation will be 0. So first, I will substitute the upper limit, c d l square root of 2z. 2 by 3, I will write here directly, square root of 2z. Upper limit is h. So in place for small h, I will put h small, capital H, h to the power of 3 by 2. So dear student, this is the final expression for discharge through a rectangular notch. This is the final equation. Now, if you substitute minus, minus uh, lower limit is 0. So these all the terms multiply with 0 again, the value will be 0. So that part I will not consider. So he, this is a final expression for discharge through a rectangular notch. And here Q is the discharge. H is head of water, or you can use the word height of water above the notch, not height of notch. Keep in mind, water height. Square root of 2z is a constant term. L is length of the notch, and CD is coefficient of discharge for rectangular notch. And 2 by 3 is constant. See, dear students, there are many coefficient of discharge values are coming. First, we take in the venture meter is CD. This is coefficient of venture meter, coefficient of orifice meter, coefficient of uh, again rectangular notch. Okay, so different uh, devices have different coefficient of discharge. So for venture meter, it is 0 0.98. For orifice meter, it is in the range of 0 0.6. Now for the rectangular notch, it is also in the range of 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. It will be given in the numerical for solving this discharge.